Hello everyone, it's Dylan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything and welcome back to another Master Duel video. In this video, we are going to be doing a protagonist tournament bracket. Now, I know you might be saying, Dylan, didn't you do this a few months ago? And we did. We did it with an AI running the actual decks and the tournament. Uh, but recently, we switched to the wonderful team over at Legendary Duels. They are the ones that now run these tournaments. They run them uh, with more updated decks to give all characters kind of a chance. Uh, and it's basically two duelists of very similar skill. I've known the guys over at Legendary Duels for a very long time. I have no idea what's going to happen. So... It adds a little bit of a lot of quality really to the duels while keeping the level of unpredictability. Now, here are the protagonists that are going to be dueling in this tournament. There's eight spots. Obviously, we only have six genuine protagonists. So we had to improvise a little bit. The characters dueling are going to be Yugi Moto, Atem, Judai, Yusei, Yuma, Astral, Yuya, and Playmaker. Now keep in mind, Atem and Yugi are using two different decks. Atem will be using Dark Magician and the Egyptian Gods, while Yugi is going to be using Gaia support along with some silent monsters. Yuma and Astral will be separate characters. Yuma is going to be using all of his non-number monsters along with Future Hope. Astral will be using only all the numbers. No Zexal weapons will be used by either of them because they only have access to them when they are fused together and they are dueling as individual entities in this tournament. So we feel like that's fair. I've put all the names into a random uh, tournament generator. Let's see who's dueling who in the first matchup. Oh, we got some juicy round one matchups. Kicking off with Judai versus Yuya. Then we have the Pharaoh dueling Yusei. What a slobber knocker of a round one there. Little Yugi Moto's got his hands full against Yuma. I believe they also dueled in the AI bracket where Yugi almost beat Yuma, but Yuma did uh, survive him. And then Playmaker versus Astral. There's a chance we get Astral versus Yuma in the semis. That would be pretty, pretty cool. Without further ado, make your your predictions and let's begin very excited for this one i know that sometimes uh jc of legendary duels adds some sound effects here so you know we'll see if he uh he did that which is definitely going above and beyond well that answers our question all right summoning neos right off the rip and again we are going to see some cards that may not have been used in the anime we do that so that these old gx and dual monster error decks have a chance to compete with the arc 5 and brains error decks all right yuya setting the scale right off the bat he's also got poly he's also got odd eyes pendulum dragon he's got pendulum call which i imagine he's going to use judai of course has two neos on the field We'll see if Yuya is able to get over and beat. Even doing the PNGs. Dude, he goes above and beyond. On Ice Pendulum Dragon, that is a big summon. And he's got the tuner on the field as well. Yuya did not synchro all that much. Clear Wings Synchro Dragon. He's got access to it. He used it. It's very much in play here. And we're going to have an XZ's here. And that is, of course, a hint at Odd Eyes Rebellion, Xyz Dragon. That's going to destroy both of them. Judai already in a lot of trouble. Judai's in a lot of trouble. I'm not sure. I don't remember what that set card is. That is going to allow him to survive. And it's going to force... Okay, Ju uh, Yu is actually going to crash there. I thought Yu Yu may end his turn with uh, Clear Wing instead crashing. So... Oh, jeez. <laughs> Judai in a lot of trouble, as evidenced by the intense draw sound. He's got no monsters right now, but he does have emergency call. He's also going to summon Elemental Hero Neos back from the grave using the continuous spell. What's he going into here, man? Infernal Rage. Now here comes the original Elemental Hero Flame Wingman. Needs Skyscraper on the field, but right now he, he's got to get over. Um, a very tough XZ's. All right, he got Neo Space. So we know we're going to get the upgrade there. It's going to negate the effects. Here comes a crash, beautiful crash. And I think Judai is going to be able to deal 3,000 points of damage to Yuya. And now all of a sudden it is Yuya 
on the edge of disaster. One of these illustrious protagonists is exiting in the first round. It's going to be a very disappointing tournament for one of them, but Yuya's got the pendulum. He's going to upgrade Odd Eyes Rebellion XZ's Dragon into Rebellion Dragon Overlord. Oh my god. Of course, Judai's got the Karibo. Oh my god. I did not realize that Karibo had that effect. And Judai has defeated Yuya to kick off the tournament. Oh my goodness. I really, I, I did not realize. I figured that Karibo would just like negate. I did not realize it would destroy and deal damage. So it's a first round exit for Yuya. Very unfortunate for him. Judai moves on to the semis where he awaits the Pharaoh or Yusei. It's not going to get any, <laughs> it's not going to get any easier for Judai. I refer to this one as a slobber knocker when it was put onto the bracket. And I got to tell you, man, this is one that I wish we got. We saw these two duel alongside each other in Bonds Beyond Time. And they're dueling for the privilege to duel the other character they, that they dueled alongside each other in Judai. It's funny the way the bracket worked out. Of course, with Yuya losing, we've got kind of a DM to 5Ds flavor over on the left side um, that's going to represent the left side of this bracket uh you say didn't do anything crazy and of course Atem has access to a lot of the gods he's got access to the season four cards dark magician direct attack Atem not going to activate anything and so you say is going to be able to deal the first points of damage but we've got a little bit of a a bricking situation here as Atem draws jackson knight there's really nothing he can do there that is a draw and end turn literally did nothing you say one for one that's going to be big because it's going to allow him to summon a level one and that's going to finally allow him to go into some synchro plays here which we have yet to see first synchro and he's going to go into a junk monster junk speeder he's going to be able to summon some synchron tuners from the deck uh, some synchron tuners may have been the understatement of the year ladies and gentlemen here comes the synchro spam we talk about playmaker and his link spam all the time well you say famous for a different kind of spam the synchro spam and junk synchron is going to tune junk speeder and we're going to get axel stardust dragon Oh boy, the synchros are not stopping anytime soon, man. I do not remember what attempt set at the start of his first turn. Formula Synchron. I think we know what's coming here. I think we're, he's try, trying to go into Shooting Star. Okay, well, we got Stardust Dragon first. Atem might be in trouble. Well, he's got Soul Crossing. That I think is going to... You say comboing all of that. He was playing checkers. The Tem was playing chess. But even with getting three of his monsters tributed, this is the strength of these two duelists. You say still able to combo. Here comes Jet Warrior. He's still got combinations. And Atem's just got a big giant ball. He's going to kick Eternal Soul back to the hand. And he's going to attack. Well, actually, right. You can't attack. I don't believe that. Atem's... Oh, boy. Atem summoning the Wing Dragon of Ra. His hated rival, really villain, Yami Marek's card. He's going to destroy Yusei's Synchro Monster. He's going to destroy Yusei's token. And even though Yusei had an insane... It's not over. It's not over. Yusei survives by the skin of his teeth. Oh, what an intense freaking turn that was, man. I thought Atem had Yusei dead in the water. Somehow Yusei has survived. And now can Yusei combo? He's facing an Egyptian god. My god, what a duel this has been. This duel has honestly lived up to the hype. We've got some more synchros here. You say not done fighting. Satellite warrior. He's going to try to destroy everything here. Does it go through? It does. Oh, Atem's board has been broken. However, it's not done yet. Atem summons God Phoenix. It's not done. And all you say can do is destroy it. He cannot win. But Atem's got like nothing cooking right now. Jax Knight and Dark Magician. He drew Pot of Greed. You've got to be kidding me. This literally is like an anime duel. Oh my god, if a Karibo wins another duel, ladies and gentlemen, I don't think my heart can take it. What is that Karibo's effect? Alright, not nothing. 
You say beats a Tem. There has always been a crazy amount of debate. What would happen if you say dueled a Tem? I think it's one of the biggest hypotheticals out there between protagonists because you say never lost a Tem. Of course, an incredible, incredible duelist. Um, well, in this tournament, we have our answer. You say beats a Tem. What a freaking duel. And he is moving on to the semis to face Judai. Wow. This is a rematch of the AI tournament where Yuma took on Yugi and Yugi almost won thanks to Gandora, but Yuma was able to defeat him. So Yuma is going to try to beat Yugi for the second straight time in the protagonist tournament here on this channel. Um, not going to be an easy matchup. Yugi's deck is going to be much more upgraded. No number monsters. I think Yuma is going to deliver some burn. Cowboy for game. That, that could end up being vital. We don't know. It, Yuma's going to be going up against it a little bit. But here we go. Yuma is going to Xyz summon using two Xyz monsters. And he's going to get Utopic Future. And I believe the... Uh, yep, Draco Future's coming right here. Here we go. Right off. Oh, no. He's going to go for Gaia the Dragon Champion. Gaia got a lot of updates. And Gaia is just going to beat over Utopic Future. And it can attack twice. And that's it. Oh, my God. What on earth? Yugi Moto made such quick work of Yuma. And you know what? A little fun antidote there. I know that one must have killed JC because JC is a massive Yuma and is a massive Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel fan. It shows there really isn't any bias. In the back of my mind, I was like, I think Yuma's going to go far in this one. That was a very quick tournament. Yugi gets the win. Yuma's deck, of course, was very much nerfed because of the Astral inclusion. And uh, the dream of Yuma versus Astral in the semis is dead. But Astral, let's see if he can avenge Yuma here uh, going up against Playmaker. Not going to be easy for Astral. Playmaker, I'm sure, dueling Astral here, interacting with Astral, wishing that he was able to have Astral as a partner and not I. Astral much less annoying than the Dark Ignis and much more helpful. But hey, here we go. Playmaker knows all about having, you know, partners. We saw it with you saying we mentioned it. The link spam. That is what Playmaker loves to do. And here we go. We got the link climb. I have a feeling we could be seeing Decode Talker here. Nope. Transcode Talker. Access Code. My apologies. I'm not used to the turn one access code talker. How about that? But Playmaker going first, it might hurt him. Astral knows. Astral's a smart guy. He knows he has to try to get the win here. A turn one access code. It's not the most optimal time to summon access code. No, Utopia Dragonair he's going for. Wow. And every time he summons a Utopia monster, he pays 500 points of life. And he draws a card. He's got another rank up magic there. He's already got a rank 12, so you can't really utilize that on his monster. Utopia Beyond. That's going to make access codes attack zero. He's also been able to draw three cards thanks to this. Access code is zero. Monster Reborn for Utopia Double. Astral is going insane. We saw Yuma make a very quick exit. Astral watched that and said, yeah, I got to give Zexo a little bit more representation than that. Utopic Dragon Playmaker, arguably maybe the best duelist in this tournament, might be in trouble, but he's got a trap. But it's not going to last. Playmaker, a very shocking quick exit here. But you know what? Playmaker going turn one. Made access code. And Astral just overwhelmed him. What a freaking turn by Astral. And so the semis are set. It will be Judai versus Yusei. And it will be Little Yugi Moto versus Astral. Already a lot of upsets here. Let's see if Judai and Yusei uh, deliver. We've had a lot of really good matches to kick off this tournament in the first round. All right, well, turn one recently, you know, Yuma went turn one, got kicked in the teeth, and then uh, Yusei went, uh, I'm sorry, Playmaker went turn one, and he got kicked in the teeth as well. Sometimes with this, you go turn one, and you're just kind of in an unfortunate position if you don't have a lot of negates and your opponent has a lot of gas. He's gonna synchro summon Stardust, I'd imagine. Yep. Satellite Warrior, but won him game against uh, the Pharaoh. 
has to be Shooting Star. Had to be. Very good turn one. And it had to be a, t a big turn one because the last two duels, we've seen the turn two duelist win. He's going to negate the attack. Yeah, Yusei's in good shape right now, man. Arriving Light, Shooting Star Dragon, and he gets that draw card thanks to the Arriving Light spell. He's got Effect Valor in hand as well. Jeez, oh, Yusei just took a crazy amount of damage, and Judai's going to prevent his monster destruction. That was huge. Yusei, I don't know what he's going to do using Valor now on Judai's turn. Judai's got to go for the throat rip here. Grand Neos, he's going to return Satellite Warrior back to the hand. This could be it. I think he's going to survive. Yep. Okay, you say this is exactly what you want in a semifinal match. You say surviving thanks to Shooting Star Dragon. He needs a big turn here. Oh, what a top deck. What a top deck. The problem is he doesn't have the attack points to really deliver a lot of damage here. Oh, boy. Shooting Savior Star Dragon. He's got... You feel like he's got to win right here, chat. That's it, right? Oh, it gets negated, and he's able to destroy a monster that really caused him a lot of issues. But now Neos Wiseman gets summoned and attacks again. Deals another 1,000 and attacks again. Deals another 1,000 points of damage. Judai has barely survived. Neos Wiseman's effect in the grave is going to get negated thanks to shooting Savior Star Dragon. Oh my god, what a turn. What a freaking turn. Both of these duelists teetering on the edge. They both put in an, a magnificent effort. And you feel like whoever wins truly deserves to get to the finals here. Judai's just... Oh, but that's that Karibo card, man. That's that Karibo card, man. Watch that Karibo card. Trap iron... Scrap iron signal. Scrap iron signal negates Karibo. And that should be all she wrote. It's going to have another attack. That is it. Uh, it's not over yet. He's going to negate, but to negate, he's got to banish, right? I mean, he's negating cards. You say really controlling the game right now, but like, it's, oh my God, it, 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 they're just teetering. But you say he's got three sets. He's still got that beast shoot ex, shooting Savior Star Dragon on the field. Call of the Haunted. It's going to negate it. Ugh, that's a little risky to negate. If Judai, so Judai's dealt with Majestic Star Dragon. If, if Judai can just beat a defense position know. monster... Oh boy, you say may be in trouble here. He may have used that effect a little quick. I think that was the only chance Judai had. I think that was the only chance Judai had. I think Judai had to win there. He had to summon enough monsters where he could beat over the set card and destroy and de deliver a direct attack. He's got to negate this. He has to negate this. Okay, yeah. He's got Scrap Iron Signal. He's got that Winged Karibo level 6. Dead to right. You say watched how Judai beat Yuya. He's got that dead to right. That's going to be it. What a duel. Oh, my God, dude. That was probably the duel of the tournament so far. That was probably the duel of the tournament. And you say, Judai, I expected nothing less. You say is moving to the finals. Who will he face, Astral or Little Yugi Moto? Let's find out. That was a good one. All right, Astral going second here. Yugi was not able to do a lot, I'll tell you. I mean, Astral is just unbelievable, man. He is just unbelievable. Made quick work of Playmaker and now trying to make quick work of Yugi. Isn't it amazing? You can make all these big, beefy, meaty XZ's monsters and Mirror Force just destroys all of them. But Astral's able to get these monsters back so quickly, dude. I mean, I'm rooting for Yugi, and I like Astral a lot, but Astral's not a protagonist. <laughs> so I, I'm rooting for Yugi, but man, Yugi is, is up against it right now. He is really up against it.
All right, he's gonna fuse. He's got Karibo in hand as well. He's also got Monster Reborn. We got one of the new Gaia fusions, and it's gonna have its attack doubled. Spiral Spear Strike is gonna allow him to pierce. He could go for the pierce on Utopia and deliver 3,200 points of damage. That might not be a bad play. That might be what he's gonna do here. Nope. Oh, he can change the battle position. All right. So it works out. He's going to draw two cards and has to discard one. Obviously going to keep Graceful Charity. It can attack twice. I did not realize it could attack twice. I did not realize it could attack twice. And thanks to Holy Barrier and the upgraded Gaia cards, little Yugi Moto has done the impossible. He has defeated Yuma and Astral. And he has made his way to the finals against Yusei. One of my favorite theories that I ever made on this channel, Roku, the old man in Zexel, is Yugi Moto way in the future. The master beats the students, maybe yet again. Yugi takes down Yuma, he takes down Astral, he beats the Zexel crew. He's going to the finals. Little Yugi Moto versus Yusei. Can Yugi Moto, can Yugi Moto take revenge for what Yusei did to attempt in the first round? Let's find out, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a wonderful, wonderful tournament, and Yusei doesn't do a lot. He doesn't do a lot. Is oh, Yusei going to regret that? Yugi's got Graceful Charity and Pot of Greed. You've got to be kidding me. Look at the hand. Look at the hand he's got. All right. Spiral Spear Strike's going to let him peer. Actually, he's going to decide to flip. Very smart. And then the Yugi Moto, I think, has a chat. Yusei is going to need, I mean, he's capable of it, a classic Yusei turn. He is in a lot of trouble here. I don't think Yugi has any negates. He does have Karibo, which is annoying, but, oh, well, there's your negate. I stand corrected. Silent Swordsman can negate the spell, so Synchro Chase does not work out. Junk Synchron can pull a monster from the grave to start the, the, the Synchro Chain here. That's why Junk Synchron is such a good monster for those early Synchros. Junk Speeder. All right, Signal Warrior is here. Arrive in light. All right, there's the draw. That's a big Synchro Monster. Again, I mean, listen, nobody has been able to spam their extra deck like Yusei has in this tournament. It's unbelievable. Formula Synchron is going to let him draw. Axel Synchro Stardust Dragon will let him Synchro Summon Stardust Dragon. Yusei's comboing, man. Yusei is comboing. Against little Yugi Moto shooting Star Dragon. If Yusei beats a Tem, Judai, and little Yugi, nobody will have any doubt that he deserved the win in this tournament. That is a hell of a bracket to beat. Shooting Majestic Dragon again, and he's not gone. Satellite Warrior, which has been such a key card for him this entire tournament. He's going to destroy the whole freaking board. Oh my god. Yugi summons a Silent Swordsman, and he's going to be able to end the battle phase. Oh, but it's not going to work because of Scrap Iron Signal. Scrap Iron Signal, low-key the MVP of this tournament. Let him survive against Judai, and is now going to let him get the win against Yugi. Karibo will stop it, but there's just too much gas here. Yusei is going to win. Wow, Yusei wins the protagonist tournament. My guesses would have been Yusei, Yuma, or Playmaker. Uh, those would have been my three guesses. But what an amazing tournament. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've got to thank Legendary Duels and my friend JC for uh, running this, for sending it to me, for doing all those edits. If you want to see more Master Duel tournaments, definitely go to his channel. Um, and if you want to see more that I've kind of commentated, I will have all of them linked down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Big congrats to you, Say. I believe we're going to do Rivals next, so look for that sometime in September or maybe early October. Thank you all so much, and I hope you have... An amazing day. Take care, guys.